I'm sending plenty of love your way as usual. Scott, are you all right, my boy? Bitterly cold day, Gordon Bennett. This is in the house. We clear up a few things. Uh, we bring um, the artillery to the table. If we're going to talk about um, those supposed fights, etc., etc., plus to going up to visit um, people as well in the category A's. Uncle Yemi breaks down that also um, this evening, um, amongst a couple of other things as well. Hope you're all well. Um, Louise, love you, darling. Sweet as on that. Yeah, K West, nice one, Kieran. Yeah. Scott, you're right, my boy. Good news, Kelly Davis will be back soon. Nice John Power. Huckleberry Finn, too fresh. Well, let's let's set the record straight before all the talking starts. Richie Rich, Tony G, my boy. Yamaha, let's go. Oli, Oli, Oli. Impress, loads of love. It's cold out here. Um, Edward Dow, nice one. Pad, big up. Um, Birdie, nice one, nice one, nice one. Gordon Bennett, you lot are so great. Nikki, David Francis, big up all the family down there in West London, I believe, if it's you. If not, it's still you, if you get what I mean. Peter Howes, nice one, my boy. Let's clear up this double OG. OG, come on, come on, let's get... <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, Jeffrey Lewis, big love, my boy. Uh, D-Dub, yeah, 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 I know, really well. Um, so cool at the moment, man. Mix Feely, Tony Davis, John Little, Disco, my little angel. Okay, all right, Kieran. Mix going through a lot of changing emotions in recent times since I got clean. Feelings that I didn't know existed inside of me. It's really strange what's been happening to everybody. has been commenting. Stephen Jones, Cinch, nice one, human being. Uh, Bob's your uncle. It's always a pleasure, my boy. JJ, big up the little boy down there. Scotland, we love you. John Gallagher, you too, my boy. Yeah, I hope hospital went well, John. Keep me posted on that son. Stevie boy, always big love to you, man. I know, it's deep. All my weight's coming on, but it's the feelings. Nervy, feelings, different emotions. Almost frightened some days. Gould and Bennett, Mark, nice one, man. Yeah, yeah, man, you too, Mark D. Big love to you all. The Maverick, right. All right, let's set the record straight. Don't shame, we'll go straight in, OG. Come on, boys, let's go in. Now, what did we say? I went to interview Darren Webster. Yeah, he was in his house when I did that video, right? His lovely family, Kelly, etc., and the lovely dog, yeah? I go there, Darren Webster tells me that Warren Slaney and Stephen French had a fight right in front of him with three people standing there, yeah? Two people in the comments come up and say, Yami, you explained it right, but Frenchie did throw one back, right? So Uncle Yami has got the story from someone he's sitting around on the table with and we bring it to my audience because why? We believe that Darren Webster, if he says he's standing there, a man like that, what, what does he gain from saying that? Much to say that other podcasts are saying, well, I quite believe what um, people are saying to him and it sounds true, you know, I would believe that. Well, then what are we to believe on Yummy B TV that my guests are talking shit and they give you the date, the time, the place? What, what is it? So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. All my videos, Jeb, Job, you know what I'm saying? Take it, yeah, okay. If I say in the video... I was there. I was there. If I say I wasn't or I don't say I was there, then you know that the story has been related to me. Yeah? Right. Check that video. I didn't say I was there. So get your facts right. We do fantasy fights. We do, you know, word of mouth. We report it. We put it out there. We say, did it or didn't it? But hey, we'll bring him in. We asked Darren Webster on the show. He said it happened. Someone else goes on the show and they say, well, yeah, he didn't. I wasn't there. Don't, never met him. Well, what do we say? What do we say, Kieran? <laughs> Pad, you, what, what do we say? What does it mean to us on Yami B TV? If we're wrong, we believe someone, he got it wrong. He, he got the wrong faces and names. Huh? A man that rolled the cat A's and met everybody that was anybody that was ever had to have been met. He's going to get that wrong. Big name from Liverpool and a big name from Leicester. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying, though? You know what I mean, though, Tom? What are we to believe then? So just because someone else is telling you that, that means that then you're right. Does it? 
And a lot of stories of fantasy and made up and fabricated. Believe you me, not on the AMB TV, because if we get it wrong, we admit it. If we're not sure, we say we're not sure. If we're definite and we're sure that we say it. Those are the facts with me. And whenever I've been wrong, I will come up and I will say, sorry, you lot, I'll take that down. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to talk to Warren Slaney. Let's see what he says, eh? Yeah? John Power, Glyn. Nice one, my boy, Richie Rich. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? T. It's an old great Slaney story, which who cares about? <laughs> IT, don't crack me up. Tim, don't crack me up. Human being. And, well, all right, so hold on one minute. I want to see, yeah? I'm not, not going to bring up no personal stuff here, because there is personal stuff uh, regarding that. You know that someone went out with one of my cousins and strangled her and all that kind of stuff, but we're not going to go into those little bits. Will they admit to that? Will they admit to going with young girls? Will they admit to being serial women beaters? Yeah? Not, we're not talking about anyone in Pacific, but do certain people, do they have history for saying, I lost and this was me, when they're to look bad, have they got history for saying that they're, they lost or they did this wrong and that wrong? Or is it always going to be denials? Oh, Huckleberry. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not going to come and get Uncle Yummy that way there. No, 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 no. Thoughts on... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get to that. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. All right, we'll, we'll do a little bit of that, even though I had to take down that video. Um, imagine that. It was someone reported that video that I did and said um, it can't be geographically seen or something like that. So no point in leaving that one up there, was it? <laughs> Pandora's box. Uh, mm, part and parcel of... So the reality... As we say that many men come on many podcasts, we sit around a table and it all looks real and it all sounds, it's their side of the story. Um, we know in later life there are many of us that are different to how we once was. Um, we've seen other people go on shows recently and they, their whole demeanour has changed from when they first started doing podcasts with their journey, with their lives. And good luck to everybody with repentance and making amends and changing and seeing the error of their ways and the way that they behaved or is it sometimes that people just get older and they're, they're just not the same men no more that they can't run around bullying people no more that they can't go around um, using fear and you know that kind of stuff to frighten people off you know um takes a long time for some people doesn't it you know what i mean no no but you know kieran we've got to listen to their stories but there's a difference if someone's telling you on live TV that they were standing there. And I mean, it's going to be, it's not my, I don't know what, what we say to such an honest man who bears his whole life in front of the world, the vulnerabilities, all the sad um, traumas and abuse that he suffered um, throughout all of his life, that he lays bare all that. Not ashamed to say, you know, like to leave himself open to, you know, uh, certain things. And then talks about a fight. <laughs> it's right, Pad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. Nice one. Sonny, is that you? Loads of love, my boy. Is all. Sonny, loads of love. Real sweet tea. Yeah, really good at the moment, man. Going for a lot of change at the moment, Glyn. I'll be up in the morning as usual. Um, Glyn, yeah, whatever. <laughs> the main glint, glint look in reality uh, Neil 66 <laughs> over articulating maybe springs to mind Neil 66 <laughs> who else does that some people are good at like, it's too long too long it's too long we oh nice on boardy we always speak Patrick Murren we always speak the way we always spoke doesn't change just because we read a few books and we go, you know, I switch into well education, we go cockney, we go a bit of this, we go a bit of that. It depends what we're feeling like, but we know what it means. We're not going to pretend to be one way and the stiff upper lip and all that kind of stuff. Uncle George, nice one. Got to go. You too, um, Bob's your uncle. Loads of love. Always watching out for you, Bob. Yeah, Joe Graham, nice one, son. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, ST. Tim, nice one getting to catch you doing <laughs> Nice one, Tim. Always a pleasure, my boy. But, you know, I woke up, I woke up this, the last week or so, I was with my nephew Quincy the other day and um, JJ, human being, you know, all, all of my main hitters. Now, I woke up there, I woke up. <laughs> 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 um, Warren's slander free. Um, yeah, I mean, is Warren is Warren slander free? What do you mean? Someone put in comments on Bully Moore looking at nice one. You too, David Galvin. Yeah, much love. Bordy, don't laugh. What do you mean by that, MC? Like slander free. Disco Bebo, this is why you are... Yeah, Disco, I just hope you're all right down there, my angel. But the feelings I've been getting, the longer clean time comes on, like, not even, the drink even kind of got even fed up with that in the end as well, and it leaves you in uncharted ter territory with new feelings that you didn't know were there. Everything seems to be trying to get back to a way that I'm not too familiar with mentally and physically. Yeah, yeah, it's all piling back on like we knew that it would in the end, you know what I mean? But ultimately, sorry for the types, I'm sure you know. This is, Slaney's not, um, he's not racialist, MC. Not Nothing in that he's fought as many black people as he did white people. The three knockouts on that thing, one was mixed, one was white, and one was foreign, so, and one was black, so there's no distinguishing between anything with Warren Slaney. It, it is what it is, and he'll do what he has to do when he feels like it after being um, treated inhumane for years and years and years. And I suppose many of us, nice one, Taylor, galactic. <laughs> well, I can tell you this is not a stitch of fat on me, uh, galactic. <laughs> no, it's absolutely ripped. If I took off my top, no, don't do that, yeah. It's all the masses back and I ain't even been doing that much. It's absolutely mental what God does. He's asking, is he? No, he's not free. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. But there is an appeal. There, it, it's back at the CCRC, I'm hearing in Bristol. So that should be interesting. And I'm waiting um, for a response from Warren Slaney where I will get cleared to go to the Category A's to go and visit our man that's had to suffer, suffer for years. And people like Tony and Kevin and, you know, many other men and Dave Gunn and those kind of men, and John, they, they'd like to see Warren out. You know what I mean? They know that he suffered. You too, Mark, Mark McCoy. Hong Kong, big love to you as always. So I hope that clears that up, right? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. You let me know, Disco. Yeah, 100%, my little angel. I do worry. I know I worry about a lot of you, really. Um, nice one, Glenn and the mush. But, you know, we stand by. You know, we, we never forget what we've been through. And the other issue, right? Imagine this, right? Good thing you mentioned this because going up to prison to see people, right? Mm. They're asking me, right, Kirim? Yeah, Lord Bordy. <laughs> Yamaha. <laughs> when I got, I went, you know, like, so when I came out, right, we went on that first interview which was the dardest. I was a bit wet behind the ears, right? Um, I didn't like the things they were saying about Gary Nelson outside. Um, many of us knew outside that what they were talking about out here wasn't really true. And I felt the need to go up there and protect him. Whether I did the right thing on all that is, you know, another thing. But I wouldn't have done that now with more experience with social media, with the journey that we've all been on. Peace. You see what I mean, Danny? Yeah, really well, Dan. And um, so I got kicked in the arse for that. He says, I, I've got nothing bad to say about Yami. He's a good man, you know what I mean? But he can't say he's my friend because he hasn't been up to visit me, right? Or written to me, you know, which is perfectly right. Now, my reasoning behind this is that I would have never stood a chance to go and visit him because of the powers that be that were around him anyway. And the mix-ups that followed after all that were a learning curve for me in itself. No bad feeling towards anybody. Um, but I really suffered for trying to do people please and do the not the right thing by a man that I stand by up to today and will be loyal to um, probably for the rest of my days. Now, look, 
I didn't write to anyone when I came out. My mum just died. I had my first relationship. I felt that. We knew that I went homeless for 18 months and we was up and down on drugs going around all the other country and people saying, come with me, Yami, come and stay here. Come. I had to go through all that kind of stuff. Then we get a little bit more settled. Then we get a little bit more clean time. Then we have the little lapses here and there and it looks good for a while. Then it doesn't. You see what I mean? So the reasoning behind me, I will go to see Slaney. Slaney, we're fighting the cause for him because of the appeal and we want to help on the B T V, yeah? I believe that um, Gary Nelson was railroaded for his case. They've done the same thing they did to Gary Nelson with, that they did to Michael Stone. Is that they, look, Billy Moore's just messaged me. Look, they've done the same thing to Gary Nelson. They said that there was a geezer next door that he confessed to, which was a whole lot of bullshit as well. So, you know, we mustn't write um, the big man off with his thing either. You know I mean? They've really done some real damage there. Um, with that case, we, it, um, they, they changed the double jeopardy law in the courtroom, um, in Parliament to get that case back up, which you know that they will do for certain people. Now, it's humanly impossible for me to go up there and see him, right? Other family reasons. Nice one, uh, Cy Bennett. Now, I'm going to see Warren Slaney. Now, asking me, boo, how come you're not going up to see them? Well, most of the men are out now that I was in the cat is with that I was really, really close to. And I knew loads and loads of people over the years, but I won't be going to everybody. That was years and years ago. I wasn't that close to anyone to go and be thinking about visiting them. The real truth now is that I'm absolutely terrified of going to go behind the gate and go through the door. We used to have this saying, didn't we, lads? Like, Peter, nice one. Yeah, 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 but Robert Lee, yes, yeah, I mean, yeah, Robert Lee, nice one. Benji, we used to have a saying, didn't we, when we were still criminals and we used to go up and visit people while we were out. We said, don't go up there because you might end up there. Do you know what that happened to me? I went up to Whitemore to go and visit a man and then I was in there. Do you know that I was on, on the out at that time with the big man from South London and a man rang me, a man rang me. I said, you shouldn't go up there to see lifers, right? They like to hang on. Right, boom. Me with my big mouth went and, report, went and reported that, right? Went and reported that back on drugs. Yeah, yeah, but the big man said, I shouldn't even go up there anyway. Like, do you know that the big man ended up there too? So you can imagine, like, when we was all in there, and then he's told him and he's told him and the big man says, life is like to hang on. And he ends up with a life sentence as well. Fuming at me, fuming. That one killed me for years in there. Why did you run? Imagine that one, right? Now, going up, I'll never forget the, the feeling of going through the door when it, it's kind of, you're really close because you know you're back in that world, whether you're going to visit or stay or not, yeah? And I remember feeling the feeling now, the difference is now, obviously, we're not criminals. So we're not expecting, we could go up there and see someone and not have to worry about, but <laughs> anything could happen still. We're just saying this is a bit of a, a myth or one of those um, things. Carson TV, nice one. Leon Phillips, loads of love. Now, me thinking about it, right, I would go, I'm thinking walking through there. I'm shitting it, man. I'm not the same man no more. For a man that never cared whether he went to prison, lived, died or anything, I really don't want to go up there, right? But years have gone by. Remember that film thing, the, um, the TV thing, John Power? When, when John Power? <laughs> John Power, you know the TV thing? I think Kevin Lane and um, Terry Ellis and that, they went on it, right? A couple of men walked out of there. I was going to go on that show, you know. They wouldn't let me. Because I, they, I, how would I, for nine days in a prison cell, how would that really have affected me during those ups and downs of the early stages of the journey? Oh, no, man. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be able to, be, I don't think now I would have been able to manage. I really don't. I really don't, man. Tony, when you, who visited me? Tony Davis. I had a couple of visitors at certain stages, a couple of visits, very, very rare, near the, the last 15 years. In the early bits, a couple of girlfriends, short term, but dear John's on those, I'm afraid, boys and girls. Victor, nice one, I hope your health's all right, my boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please, please, please. You're 
in depth, up to date on his knockout of the last. I'll give you, hell yeah, I'll give you an in depth update on his knockout. Something. Like, go on then, Tim. Go on then, son. Yeah, you know, you make me laugh. Mm. Right. Mm. Mm. I know, Kieran. <laughs> Transition there. Uh, I'm not interested in that old life. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah, nice one. Hey, D. Yeah, Joe, nice one. Yeah. Can't. I'll tell you why we can't talk that kind of talk there, uh, God of War, is that. Slaney lived longer. Duffy didn't, he didn't get to, to get to live, sadly, to a, a decent age. He got taken out pretty early. So there's no way of saying that, but obviously they might have locked horns with their personalities and characters, but Slaney in the 90s, man, I just couldn't see anything, to be honest. Joe, so I've been up to Walton to visit a week to see a mate and ended up sitting with him. <laughs> Oi, Jay. <laughs> Oi, John. Oi, how demanding. Oi, John Power. I'm absolutely... I can't... I'm broken hearted, I am. Not to say I'm not happy, because this is the best period since I've been out and we're moving on to other apps and mainstream and I've got loads to tell you lot, but I've been processing a lot lately with new feelings and calming down and you're looking at it. So I feel almost still now and frightened of the world and, you know what I mean? I no longer want to be part of... Any mix-up, nice tyre. Yeah, Dean London, I love you, brother, Dean. You'll be on my show soon. No, we, no I've been I've been trotting down the road at six in the morning. <laughs> oh, with, <laughs> asked him to someone like that to someone the other day. I just give him a little touch. They said, what have you got in your hands? He was totally hard to that. I go like that. Sometimes he says, yummy, yeah. Hands of lead, I love that. You must make my power in it, Danny. I'm a Leeds fan because I find it hard to change my team down. And uh, once you've been in with supporters, and I was a Leeds fan from, from five, six years old, and having gone into the crowd at early doors with Laura Majals, and then, you know, the, the bit after that with Tony Curry and Eddie Gray, and you know what I mean, Paul Hart, and you know, all the teams changing. Once being in the crowd, it's very hard to change change a team. You know what I mean? So, you know, once you've been in there, for me, it's for life, isn't it? You know, how we deal with the loyalty kind of stuff. Um, you know what I mean? Carson, Kieran, not really. Uncle Yummy stays there. There's too many memories of running away from the children's home and getting stuck in Leeds and staying there overnight as a 10-year-old and that kind of stuff. John Powell, Billy Brem, <laughs> Billy boy, do you remember the fight with Kevin Keegan in the charity shield? Oh, he was a tough house. The Irish WhatsApp, yeah, get, you get that, George, because oh, please get Patrick for me. I've got Dave Tiny up there as well. I've got um, M.O. Mo Jammers. I've got loads, Spencer Social. I've got so many in Ireland to go and see, right? So that will be sorted. I know Danny, <laughs> very hard, isn't it, Dan? Very hard once you've been a march. You know, the passion. I was little, you know. They used to crush me. I used to always want to go in with the singers then. Um, I remember going Grimsby away. But I used to go everywhere on my own for the children's home. I was in the supporters club, London Shadow. Nice one. I used to be in the supporters club with Mr and Mrs Fudge. <laughs> I used to get my pocket money before that stuff happened in the children's home. I used to go missing on Saturday mornings to just get on a, a coach here and there or get on a train from King's Cross all the way there and, and then just sit there really small and everything. I was always a bit of a lot. Nice, Sean. Yeah, I saw... Yeah, yeah, Billy Moore just messaged me. Yeah, I'll have a look at that. But again, you know what I mean? Billy, all respect. You know, Billy's one of my favourites. But Billy will believe who he wants to believe and say, me, Billy could be right. I could be wrong. Darren might be wrong. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. All I know, look at the video. Did I say I was there? No. So when he's spitting over the yeah, he says he can't be there for all of them. He's exaggerating. No. If I'm there, I'll tell him I'm there. If I'm not, I won't say so. 
But a man comes on live TV and says he was standing there. That my right, boys, girls? That's what he said. Chelsea, I, that was my first ever game, wasn't it, Dan? Chelsea, a lot of them scored after three minutes. Butch Wilkins was playing for Chelsea that day. Then, like the <laughs> Yeah, but did you ever cut Michael Hearns and DJ Mickey Finn? I went jungle a little 94. Yeah, I went Astoria, I think once. Once, you remember, I only went out once or twice. Yeah, I saw it, look. Yummy B T V, we've got a simple answer for that. Um, I won't, I, if I'm wrong, Darren, Darren Webster's wrong with the story thing, I will still not back. Stephen French hasn't done anything to me by way of personal stuff with me. But there are some little family issues that people, um, girls, my family and all that have had relations and they're, they're saying terrible things. So I won't be having no dialogue there. And I won't be taking anything down, right? Unless Darren Webster tells me that he got it wrong, yeah? And we'll ask Darren Webster to clarify it and say it again and say it again and again. And he was there. So I never said that I was there. So Billy Moore will probably meet up with Billy Sue. But me and I will never be um, friends with Stephen French. It's not, it's not realistically possible. But I won't hold... I won't hold... Um, animosity or of any kind. I won't be sending no threats or nothing like that. I will ask him a couple of questions when I see him about certain other things anyway that I told you that I would a long time ago. All right? So it's as simple as that. But I'm not in the hatred game myself these days. I don't, you know, I don't want no war. I don't want no beef. I simply report, tell my bit. They tell theirs. They said it's very much the same as what you've just done down there. So no hard feelings. If I got it wrong... It wouldn't be the first time and it wouldn't be the last. You know what I mean? And for whatever it means to me, I, I went up there and said I had five or six losses in my life. <laughs> whatever. I'm not ashamed to say when it went wrong for me. I'm not saying it did, but I want to see, my, at least Mark Herbert comes up and says when, he got, when it didn't go right for him. Many men come up here and say it, when it didn't go right. You know, I'm not saying, of course, it would be that, um, Kieran. <laughs> Jay, <laughs> all right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Edward, nah, but it's the reality of things. You know what I mean? My heart is, would we say, I'm cleansed because I let everything out. Uh, I'm not afraid to show my vulnerability. Um, many have learned from the way that I do it out here, and many have tried to swing it around and do it the same way. Uh, many have nicked things off me with my, I don't script nothing, you know, that I just come up and do my thing now, we're getting on to the next stage of the journey because you know that I won't be going backwards now. My heart just says, no, Dan, John Power, Kieran, Carson, you know what I mean? We, we, but John Power, me and you know what it was. <laughs> you was there. <laughs> to, to Uncle Yami, it doesn't really, they can say all what they ever want to say. The one thing that nobody disputes about me, is how I was in the cat haze, yeah? There's no disputes from anyone, you know what I mean? On the record, we see, we know that, John. Yeah, many can vouch. That's why you lot have stuck by me, because too many things I've said turned out to be true. So I'm not going to get um, all huffed and puffed over um, a little bit of fighting, you know what I mean? And what they say and what he says and all that, you know what I mean? So it's not, it's not, it's not that kind of thing, but, you know, me and Billy Moore will sit down, but... The reality is I will go and see Warren Slaney but at some stage, but I'll be honest with you, I don't like the feel. Oh, four years nearly out, early next year. Danny, I'm, I'm Tony, I'm John, I don't want to go, I don't want to feel the gate close. <laughs> I even stop. I'm picking my venues when I go out now, yeah? I'm picking my venues, like, places where I, I go, where... Because I was kind of going... Here, there, and everywhere, like showing my face a little bit, a couple of drinks, I can get, but I can really get out of hand. Um, <laughs> cause just because you're not a criminal no more and doing the things that you used to do, you can still end up committing a crime or breaking a law in some other way that you haven't seen in front of you before. That many of you would be testament to this. Don't worry, Bungle, we still love you, my boy, always. John, <laughs> Uncle Yami tells you that he's scared, scared to go back to prison because 
I know in my true hearts of hearts, if I did do anything out here, it would mean the end for me. And it would be the end for them too in there if I got back in there. Because I know that after that, really, that would be, there would be no coming back from me and I probably wouldn't want to, to be honest. So there'll be some serious things happening before I get there. And after, once I get there, if I live to get there, if you get what I mean, sorry to be so dramatic. Um, nah, I ain't taking that kind of check, Mario. You gotta be kidding me, mate. You know what I mean? We're gonna play about with Uncle Yami, you better be prepared. I'm telling you, because I will not take any check off nobody. Because if it's over for me, and I have to go back there, it's over for you too. Yeah, we'll put that on the table so you know. <laughs> Tony, no going back. Tony Davis, you're getting used to every. I'm getting used to it, George. I know. I'm even. Oh, God. So there's some things been happening. The great honor. I love you, my boy. May God be with you for the rest of your days. Um, I love you. I'm not, oh, it's Danny. <laughs> oh, but Danny, I've got really. It's plain. The decision making now. You know what I mean? Yeah. That means that. Not have a look and see and get her a bit again. You know what's on her far. You know where the risk factors are. You know where the red flags are. You know they come in all shapes and forms. And so I come here. Yeah, I mean, pretend to love you. Really, they couldn't give two monkeys about you. For the first time in life, I've been being selfish for three months. Um, and getting on with River Blue. And I know you are. I know you are. You saw me, River. You was one of my angels. You had to rescue me when my trousers were falling down. <laughs> all the way down there in the West Country. So come, yeah, me. <laughs> when I first was homeless. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I know, you and beer, don't make me laugh. No, not for me. If it is for me, then some people go to the bone yard. Because <laughs> I'm not playing that game because I don't go out my way to trouble nobody. So that's the only thing that I can envision, right? I don't go out, I don't start trouble, I don't threaten, I don't do anything. I don't, you know, I'm a lover of people, but sometimes other people might not like that. Yeah. Ed, oh, hey, Eddie. <laughs> you know exactly what I mean, innit, Eddie? Yeah. Yeah, different, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jay, oh, Patrick. I'm not playing, Pat. I don't play about. You know that it's getting late in the day for many of us on the B TV. Right, well, there's ages coming a little bit. Um, I don't want to be faced with things, especially when I'm not looking for it, yeah? So, I don't want to go back there for a year, two years. I don't care, you know what I mean? If you start on me, call them Bennett. It could well be good night, Vienna, for all of us. I'm telling you. I know, I'm in a good place. Danny, I don't know what's happened. Everyone's been saying, Yami, what's up? I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I'm not shooting you like that. Yami, you're not talking. No, no. Peter Green, not talking. Sitting in silence. Almost shocked. But what's going on in life, Danny? Tony D, shocked. Yeah, but I'm Tony, I've kind of, is the great hype leaving me? <laughs> it's the famous energy, or is it just more controlled now where the emotions are? Settling now when you begin to, you're not really, you know what I mean? There's crackers no more. Yeah? Yeah? So, uh, uh, I know. It's, but Pat, it's not so like being the age we are and same age and all that, Patrick, but it's what we've been through. And it feels like it went on forever. Some of the things and the lifestyle and everything, human being. Yeah. I'd be, oh, yeah, because you remember, in it, great honour, we knew that I wasn't really meant to, to live through that accident anyway. So, Tony Day, Pad, I was... I was Pad, but it almost makes you, like, weep a little bit. And I know, I know, River, I know. But I just, um, I just learnt, I'm just getting ready for the... We'll get out and about for the interviews. I've got a big stack coming up. Um... John Little, absolutely right. The winter coming. New, no, not even that clean. I know the difference between... Um, no, to, I'm telling you, Victor. It's really... Victor, you know better than anyone, my boy. You've been there more longer than me and us. And you've been through loads. And in the end, it's because when the calling comes, isn't it? You know what I mean? It was like going through... Pub <laughs> 
well, I developed late anyway, didn't I, Eddie? I know. Uh, well, yeah. It's like... <sighs> to know that you weren't really... Or, unless, of course, maturing in puberty, you just see the error of certain things look really silly. I've really got to be honest, Eddie. Some of those decision-making things are rather um, not that good to look back on. You think you've got to have been an idiot, Eddie. Mixed emotions, exactly, Pad. Oi, oi, buddy. You'd feel a bit stupid, really. Even with some of the things you said. Even the way you behaved around certain. You're thinking, is that how you went on over that? Yeah. We raised the bar for that. Tony Argent's just messaged as well. Say, free Warren Slaney, yammy. Um, they won't want him out. They've all, they, they know what he's going through in there. Yeah? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, yeah, of course, my boy. But, you know, much love. Much love to you all. And, you know what I mean? I'll be up in the morning. I'll be doing my videos tomorrow. Uh, probably go and get some dinner now. Go and rest off for the night. I was tired before all this, this evening. Uh, a lot of deep thinking and talking going on and a lot of other stuff is happening for the good as well. Um, but the reality is, John Power, you hit the nail on the head, you know, Patrick... There's something about that environment as we look back on to go through that gate. The reality is for some of you that may be still fiddling here and there, the reality is that the feeling of loneliness and emptiness, that when that gates and you're sitting in reception like that and you know you've got you've lost everything yet again and then you've got to go and fit into a new way, not the old way of doing prison. What's his name and what's his name? They're not gonna be on the landings no more. If they are, they're gonna have walking sticks, right? <laughs> Right? It's going to be all of them mad kids running around and all that. And your head's going to go, oh, no. No, 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 no. You're not going to feel good. Everything's out of control. Everyone's having mental health issues. Everyone's on the spice. The long-termers have, have given up because they're thinking, boy, 20, 30 reps is too much for me. I'm just going to get my head down and sleep for a month and that. But all the time, you're destroying yourself more and there'll be more hell to pay for the way that you do your time in the end, ultimately. They're caught up with me as well to the immortal... To, yeah, you told me in it, Peter. Remember that, Peter. All right, someone else joined in and said, I must do that. You said that. Yeah, all right, immortal technique. Yeah, so send it in another message there at the end for me, please, Peter. Um, I've been reading as well lately and lying down. Um, yeah, Danny. And good, yeah, 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 you too, Dan. Um, but that's, the, that's about the drift of it. A short little live. Um, we pay our respects to Kirsty Moore and all her family as well. We big up the great Matt Leg. Uh, we big up all the boys as usual. Um, Tony G, you was the greatest. Um, we go marching on no matter what now. Fucking hell, yabby yeah, boy. Don't play. I know, but it, that doesn't matter to me no more. It's man. With the injuries, the muscles on. Yeah, you can do a little jump and that, yeah. But I'm not as gassed no more. It doesn't seem it's more here. And here, that you know that I've been I've been complaining lately to people that something feels soft. <laughs> Quincy was laughing his head off the weekend. It was really funny down there with all the boys in Brixton. Um, there was a good good team of us down there, and they all looked after me. I've got some jokes to give you as well. Um, we're going to bring a couple of those to the table as well. Um, yeah, you. Good night to you all, and God bless, man, to you all as well. Um, human, you all right, girl? Uh, Victor, I love you dearly, my boy. Um, yeah, stay strong. Big up the missus for me. I hope your son's doing all right, Victor. Um, Kieran, you was the greatest. Just so stay in there, my boy. Pad, thank you for all your input, my boy. Yeah. Um, Glyn, I love you too. You stay, you stay, you stay strong. Slaney, the greatest. We just, we look after Warren. Um, Jay, oh yeah, I'm going to do that. Don't forget the two fights. I've got them for you, Jay. I've got them. You're going to like them. Everybody was there as well. You know, I mean, these ones can't be denied. Yeah. Because everybody's name is being called. <laughs> that story. All right, let me go and watch that England, Italy. Yeah, I heard the Yorkshire Ripper films on, on iPlayer as well. I'll be watching that, that fucking lunatic. Um, it's amazing that all the women watch it. Uh -uh. Um, but yeah, good night to you and I love you all dearly, man. Stay strong.